on EA Sports. And up next, we'll see Jalen Hurts. He's your top dog in the league this season, ranking first in passing yards. It's the Eagles and the Panthers coming up next. Take a drive from downtown along Broad Street. You run into Lincoln Financial Field, the home of the Eagles here in South Philadelphia. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson with you. We've got a couple of teams, Greg, that can make it happen with the defensive front. That's going to be a huge focus on this game. With the importance of the passing game in today's NFL, Mike, you know how great it is to be able to disrupt that timing and throw off the quarterback's rhythm. And no better way to do that than by being able to get after him, especially with your defensive line. You don't have to blitz. You don't have to bring a fifth rusher. Keep that secondary intact. If this defensive line can cause havoc in the pocket for this quarterback, it's going to go a long way towards slowing down what's been a very good offense. On the return, here is Anias Smith. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Eagles let out by their quarterback, and he is the leader of this offense. Jalen Hurts has that calm demeanor about him, can make the big plays as well. Greg, here he is already in his fifth year in the NFL. Some games, the quarterback can just go out there and just take what the defense gives them. They don't have to necessarily create a lot of opportunities for their teammates to go out and perform, and they can still come away with the win. I think today, though, he's going to be asked to carry a little bit more of a load, make some more plays happen, be a little bit more assertive. If he does that, this team's just going to continue to get better and better, and it's going to be a tough matchup. On the ground, here is the rookie out of Clemson. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Once again, they'll give it to Shipley. Tough to bring down, and somehow he manages to get four yards out of that. Here's third and seven. Hertz will work here from the pistol. To the right side here, passes caught. He'll get out of bounds, a gain of eight. And that's going to be good enough for a first down. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allowed the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. Hurts going to hand this one to Shipley, and he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. Now Jalen Hurts on second down. That's caught downfield by Smith. They get 24 on that one. First down, Philadelphia. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. And think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. Here's Shipley. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it'll fall to the ground. It's incomplete. Ninth play of this opening drive, trying to keep it going here on third down. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. This one caught at the four. To the goal line and in. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Eagles. That's the fifth touchdown for him on the year. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench 
for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown, that is a dream start for this offense. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. This taken at the five. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Panthers coming out, and they're led by the quarterback, Bryce Young. Rocky rookie season for the number one overall pick out of Alabama. But, Greg, here's the guy the Panthers hope can get this franchise going in the right direction. Last week was really all about the turnovers. He had some success throwing for three touchdowns. At times, the offense was really clicking and had some nice rhythm, but he has to eliminate the turnovers. Anytime that a defense can take the ball away, their odds of winning the game significantly increase. So coming into this game, can he continue to keep the good, continue to trust that passing game to score points and be aggressive on offense, and at the same time, eliminate the bad? That's going to be the key today. And if he can do that, man, this is as good an offense as we've seen in this league. Throwing on second down, Young. Here comes the screen to Brooks. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Now Young. Got a man. That's Leggett. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. A second down throw for Young. He bought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. So backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. From the gun, it's Young. That's taken in right side by Leggett. So a good chunk of yardage there, but still well short of the first down. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. the ground this is Shipley can he get away no he's taken down behind the line good job by the defense with a negative play on play action here's Hurts that's complete to his big tight end Dallas Goddard and he's got this up close to the 35 yard line from the 34 now it's first and 10 They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. On the zone read, it's a give to Shipley. And not much materializes there. He'll get this to the 35. Here's second and nine. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sitting duck for this pass rush. The Panthers offense and Bryce Young set for their next possession. And the numbers have looked good this season. Case in point right here, right up there, among the NFL leaders in touchdown passes. And he'll be brought down up around the 38-yard line. First and 10. Out of the shotgun, Young. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. We'll try again. It's second and ten. They'll motion over Thielen. 
on second down. Young. Secured by the veteran Adam Thielen. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. Here's Young. That's caught. It's Brooks out of the backfield. Looking for room out on the edge. You're not going to find any. As a matter of fact, I think he tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. A fair catch taken here, and it's going to come right at the 15-yard line. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. They'll give it here to Shipley. And he'll get nothing there. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind us down to the end of this first quarter of play. They'll try again here, second and ten. Hurts to throw. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Here's a third and ten. Hurts working in the pistol. And on third down, that ball incomplete. Here's Braden Mann now, as he'll hit this from just outside of his own goal line. Now, fair catch is taken back inside the 40. Here's the Carolina offense now, as they head out to take over for their next possession. They trail here by a touchdown, as this drive will start with a first down. That one complete to Leggett. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Young. A throw there on second down. Going to be incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so... It's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. Heading outside, going to be close. It's going to depend on the spot. They're going to mark him short, and it is going to be fourth down. That's going to be out of bounds, no return, and the drive's going to start from just inside the 20-yard line. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. And his numbers this season, eye-popping in a lot of categories. I'll just show you one. He is the NFL leader in rushing touchdowns by a quarterback. Here's a second and nine. Another carry here for Shipley. And he'll be brought down after a short pickup to the 24. Xavier Woods there on the stop. Here's a third down and four. Throwing is Hurts. And that is incomplete. Great pass rushers live for third down, especially when they know the offense has to be one-dimensional. And this is a great example here, Mike. They can just pin their ears back and go. They know there is no threat for run. It is a must-pass situation. And for this offense, they're lucky it didn't result in a sack. The Panthers offense back onto the field for their next possession. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Here's a third down and four. They'll put a receiver in motion right. From the gun here on third down, it's Young. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively. 
setting up a fourth down. A fair catch signal and taken at about the 18-yard line. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts getting set for their next possession. And he's putting together a remarkable season currently leading the NFL in passing yards as we play here in the month of December. A good spot here, second and a yard. A carry here for Shipley. Shipley, the first down, and more. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. Second and short. Normally, this is a great time, Mike, to put the ball in the air and try to press the ball downfield. But in this case, they keep it on the ground. It has a similar effect. They pick up a good gain and a first down. Now a deep ball looking for Brown. That is knocked away. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively all over him. And it'll be second down. On the handoff, it's Shipman. He'll push forward for about a yard to Devian Clowney. They're in run support. Third down and nine. They put Campbell in motion. On third down, it's Hurts. And that is income. at this stage, Mike, that they're even winning this game. I mean, anytime a quarterback is completing less than 50% of his throws, you just don't see that very often. And it just seems like time and time again, this quarterback and his intended targets, they're just not on the same page. The Panthers' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They'll begin inside their own 15-yard line. So a lot of real estate to cover. It's first and ten. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Back to throw. Young. Checking it down. This one is caught. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. In motion, the tight end, Uzama. Young to throw on first and ten. This one to his big tight end, Uzama. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. Throwing is Young. The throw on the run is complete. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. To throw is Young. This one into the hands of Marshall. And he'll be out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35-yard line. Two minutes remaining. First half in a 7-0 game. We'll come back to Philadelphia right after this. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. Quickly to the outside and complete. His second grab on this drive, good for 11 yards, but most importantly, a first down. To throw, Young. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. He was seeking out the veteran Adam Thiel in that time. And that will lead to a second down. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we can talk about the missed throw. But I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved a touchdown along the way. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. To throw is Young. He'll get this one to his safety valve. Complete. 
And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. Patterson's kick is good. And the Panthers are on the board. It's 7-3. to three. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. Oh, very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. Hertz will work here from the pistol. That's to the left side and taken in by Smith. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Halftime is looming, so the athletic training staff will get a chance to look him over during the break. A first down throw for Hertz. He'll go right back to Smith. They hook up again. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. They'll run with Shipley. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. Now Hurts going to hustle him up to the line. Off the play pick, he'll look to throw. This is caught toward the side of the end zone. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. That's his second touchdown of this one. And he's got a half dozen for the year. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start of this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. The punt showing five seconds remaining in this half as the kick's away. Now return coming from the seven. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Here's Young to throw. He's going to air this one out. And he's got it. And they are not going to catch up to him. He will score. 70 yards. Touchdown, Carolina. Well, that is a quick drive and the best way to finish it. The touchdown pass downfield. Greg, you rarely see a deep shot like that to start a drive. You're right, Mike. We don't see it a lot, but I wish we did. It's actually the most efficient and safest down to pass the ball. And in this case, the defense is thinking run. Got a lot of defenders up in the box, and they're able to strike deep with a pass play for six. The kick here is good. And one more point, and that takes us to the end of the first half. All right, Michael, we'll get back to you and Greg in just a little bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey. And it's a Saints who have the lead in the second quarter. Chris Olave, a touchdown reception. From there, we'll head to Pittsburgh to check on the Steelers at home at Akershire Stadium. And for the moment, they trail the visiting Browns in that one. Nick Chubb with two touchdowns thus far. Finally, let's get to the country music capital of the world. See what's happening with the Titans at home in Nashville. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting Jags who are out in front. Gabe Davis, a touchdown reception. We just watched a fine first half out of the mobile quarterback. That's Jalen Hurts. 
He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. These two teams ready for the second half, and so are we. So let's get you back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Both these teams running through their final adjustments. It's time for the second half. And for the call, let's get it back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. A return coming from the 14. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Panthers offense going to have the first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. A trail by four, touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. They'll motion the tight end, Thomas. On first down is Young. Quick throw, taken in. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Set to go now on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, Young. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. Here's a second and six. They'll motion over Thielen. A second down throw for Young. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. From the gun, it's Young. And this ball incomplete on third down. On now is the punt team for the Panthers as they'll say no to the long field goal and hope to pin them deep. And this one's going to land out of bounds as they'll mark it inside the 20. That's A.J. Brown and the rest of the Eagles offense set to take over once more. The lead sits at four, so they will try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Hurts working in the pistol. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. Up the middle they go. And they'll be taken down just shy of the 30. This is where you have to be careful, Mike. You find yourself winning in the second half. Human instinct says, all right, let's just sit on the ball and protect the lead and let the clock run out. You can't do that. Stay aggressive. Do what got you here. Continue to mix the run with the pass. Keep your foot on the gas and try to extend this lead. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long you can really become more of a pass centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor we're going to try to pick this up on third and eight operating from the gun here and the rush gets home he'll go down they got him here comes the eagles punchy he's on for the fifth time this afternoon Wow. Oh, no fair catch, and he pays the price. Big shot to make sure this return didn't even get started. The visitors' offense getting set to get back to work. On first and ten, here's Young. Quick throw here is complete. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. 
That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver, who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. And he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. He'll try and run it with Brooks. It's a pickup of 12. It's good for a Panther first down. Well, after not having much success in the first half, they're able to get something going on the ground here to start the third quarter. I'd love to see the play caller mix in some play action, mix in some pass game. That should open up some of these holes for better situations to run the ball. Young to throw on first down. That's taken in by Thomas. They'll get it up four here as he is taken down. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the... But every offense is trying to find, and it brings up manageable second down. On second down, Young. And he'll be taken down. They got him back at the 50-yard line. the sack it is third and long here's young johnson well, not exactly breaking news here mike they got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the nfl have so even though that ball falls incomplete i think they have to continue to do it continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field because as they're worried about him running by him, there is a lot of space open underneath. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. They'll begin here on the ground. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of not. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. They'll stick with him again. And he'll take this one forward for about three. And that's a first down. They put Campbell in motion. On first down, it's Hurts. To the left side, it's caught by Brown. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. He'll turn and hand this one off. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. And this is just more of the same, picking up exactly where he left off in the first half. And these numbers, Mike, as you see him, they just pop out at you. I mean, he has been the driving force of this offense from the very start. On first down, here's Shipley. He'll manage only a couple. Play is made there by D.J. Wano. Look him up on a second down and eight. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. That's out to Brown, right side, complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. Here's first and ten. A handoff as they try to run it here. And he'll be brought down on uh, what will be the final act. Here Outside in this third quarter. Defense. So, three quarters now in the books. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. the penalty even with the lead they're trying to press the tempo on third down they'll go with Shipley trying to drive his way forward I think he is short and he is 
That means fourth down coming up. They'll try and run for it. And he's going to have the Eagles first down as he pushes forward for a couple on fourth and inches. They'll stay on the ground. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. A second down throw for Hertz. A short throw taken in by Goddard. He'll get about six before he's taken down. He'll try to keep the drive rolling, facing third and six. A pistol snap back to Hertz. Open man, right side. He's got it. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Touchdown, Eagles. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. A safe kick taken at the five. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The visitors' offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Throwing on second down, Young. He will find Thomas. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. They'll motion over Thielen. Young to throw on first and ten. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Back to the air. It's Young. It's to the right side and corralled by Thielen. It'll be a pickup of 10. It's a Carolina first down. He'll run. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. Receiver in motion. Going right. Young. That's taken in right side by Leggett. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. To throw, Young. That into the hands of Hubbard. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's second and six. The motion man is Johnson. Throwing is Young. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Here comes third and six. Out of the shotgun, Young. A throw left side, taken in by Thielen. And the Panthers are looking at a first and goal as he's taken down at the two-yard line. He puts it up, and it's caught. Deontay Johnson. Touchdown, Panthers. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. 
gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance, but can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? From the six, here comes a return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Eagles offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. Hurts going to hand this one to Shipley. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. Once again, they'll give it to Shipley. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. Here's third and two. They put Campbell in motion. Hurts now on third and two. Oh, they got the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Dean Jackson. And he's going to be brought down. What a turn of events here. He has given his guys first and ten in the red zone. So the first part of any interception is just end up with the ball in your hands, right? That's what every defensive coordinator wants. But anytime you can get yards on the return, that's just an add and bonus. And that's what we see here. There's a little space, does a great job securing the catch, and all of those yards just set up for better field position as their offense takes the field. The visitors' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. Six catches for him in the ball game now. And this one's good for a first down. They'll drop to throw. And he's in. C.J. Uzama. Touchdown, Carolina. So the turnover turns into a quick touchdown. And, Greg, that's exactly how you want your offense to take care of business. Anytime your defense can create those sudden change situations, Mike, absolutely, you have to take advantage of it. One second, you're sitting on the bench going over your next drive. All of a sudden, after that turnover, you've got to be able to get out on the field and go take advantage of the short field and results in a nice touchdown. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Here comes the Philly offense now as they make their way back onto the field. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. Open man left side is Brown. He's got it. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. And he's out of bounds with the first down, so they get a new set of downs, and just as importantly, stop the clock. To the air again, Hurts. That's to the right side, caught by Goddard. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Hurts again. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And he'll be taken down after a gain of three, but that is good enough for a first down. That's over the middle and caught by Smith. Now second and inches. Again, Hurts. Oh, he can't get rid of it, and he's taken down. 
So the Eagles will use their first time out here. And they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. On third down, it's Hurts. That is incomplete. Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. First and ten. Victory formation, defense powerless to stop. And that should just about do it. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to 